gonna try doing another one of these toy hunts. So I'm at a Target, not by my house, a different Target. This one generally has more stuff. There's still another one close by that I probably should go to tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, maybe later in the week. Maybe I'll spread these out. Um, they generally have some good stuff in here. This is where I got the Faker for $19.99 because they had to online price. So overall pretty cool. Um, Let's go in and see what they got. All right. We are now in the Target. I was not able to use any of the audio for this. So this is a after thought. Uh, we had some of these little tiny Revelations dudes. Some Halo stuff. Pokemon. We get over here to the Ghostbusters. The He-Man. I know somebody who needs that blue guy. So I did pick him up. I thought they also needed a couple of these guys, and then they had the ones I thought he needed, but he didn't. Um, so there's a couple reasons I'm not using the audio from this. Part of it's the music, and part of it's there's just a bunch of noise. I do really like these little Mirrorverse figures. I just haven't pulled the trigger on those yet. Faker. Nothing else new, unfortunately. Space Jam stuff that just won't go away. So here's the little Gundam section that they have. I've been finding some good deals in these. And I grabbed this Heavy Arms. I walked around with this Heavy Arms for probably 20 minutes and then I put him back. Uh, he's only $22.99, I think. But there's a version of Heavy Arms I like better. I mean, this, the shelves are stocked. They're really, they really are. They're, they're stocked with all kinds of things. I mean, a lot of these shelves are overflowing. I do like these little Mario sets. I don't really care about Minecraft. Now, I do come over here to these League of Legends figures. And I, every time I see this figure, I almost buy it. And I think about it, and I think about it. Because it's about the right scale for Marvel Legends, and they look really cool. But I don't know if I want another thing to go through. So here we are at the Transformers aisle. They actually are, they're pretty well stocked on Transformers. I mean, it's nothing I need. They don't have any of the new Dinobots I checked. Um, you have a Grindor and Ravage. There's the Bumblebee and the Volcanicus. One of the Shockwaves. Those shockwaves have been shelf warming for months. If you've seen the new show, the Volcanicus is, Volcanicus is kind of cool. Blur, Cup. I still haven't seen a Dinobot or a slug in a store. Some DC stuff. Let's go take a look at the Marvel Legends. It is full of Eternals. You could literally get the entire set right now in this store. They have every single one of them. I have no interest. Um, I did. They do have the... A they had a bunch of the Morbius. And I think this figure's awesome. And he actually has Owen Wilson's jacked up nose. And every time I see this figure, I just think, wow. Wow. This was cool. High evolutionary and a different set of packaging. I mean, he's... Legends class, or Legends scale, Marvel Legends scale, which is pretty cool. All these Eternal figures, they're just everywhere. We have the, the Spider-Man, the Vulture, with his wings. Some of the G.I. Joe stuff. Of course, I'm back at the Transformers. Look at the G.I. Joe, and then I find, wait, another hidden gnaw. This is twice, at least on video, that I found gnaw just hiding behind other stuff. Alright. So, now I'm over by their electronics area, NECA section. This is where all these figures are. The music over here 
was blaring Kelly Clarkson, so that's why I took the majority of the audio out. And there were some kids in the last clip just going nuts in the aisle over, like a ball came flying over the uh, back of the shelves and almost hit a guy. The dad was like on an earpiece on his phone, being as loud and obnoxious as he possibly could, having a conversation with his dad, just being the loudest douche he could be. Th this section always looks like this at this Target. It's always destroyed. Got some spawn stuff, alien, alien. Some Funko Pops. I get some Funko Pops, but I don't actually look that hard. I find these are better either at like FYE or online. Now I drop half the things off of the shelf and have to catch them and put them back. This is kind of cool. It's a Elvira Mistress of the Dark. Every time I see one of those, I almost get it. And me picking up my mess. These McFarlane toys are so good. More Funko Pop. Well, same Funko Pops I keep looking at. And then I see one of the Warhammer figures, but I have that one. I want to look behind here because there's just there's so much stuff to dig through in this aisle. But nothing really worth getting. All right, I doubt I'm going to be able to use any of the audio from that. When the when the ball came bouncing up over the entire aisle and almost hit a guy, and the dad was just the biggest douche I have ever seen and heard, I was like, "No, I'm not I'm not going to use any of this audio." So I'm going to have to go and voice track it, I guess, figure out how that works. Um I had to do some other grocery shopping too, so it's been a while since I recorded. But the the only thing I actually did get was the the What If Nebula. Um, I'm going to end up getting all the What If figures because they're really good. So I'm going to order the rest of them. The only one they had was that one. So that's what I got. All right. So if you want to see some more of these, uh, let me know. So don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. And have a good night.